It's me Brahan back with another tips and tricks for this new Lost Legends when pigs fly. So further ado, let's get into it. So, as till now, I really do not know in-depth things about this as it is same things which spawns up for every single person or the mobs are randomized. So, I'm just gonna say this right now, just by the fact at the first one, just fight and don't get any mobs. And the first one, here's the thing. L utility chests are the worst ones, in my opinion. Increasing the flames of creation. If you just want this entire, you know, the skin, this is the guide for you. If you want to go for more of the, f you know, this waves, it's different. So defense chest is going to be, we don't need to take a look for now. But comeback chest is my favorite just by the fact it gives you the charging attack i really don't know if it's the same for you but it's something what you should go for as for the starting the mobs which you should take a look at will be i'll be showing you just as soon as possible but in the second wave you don't do anything unless just spawning some zombies in so you're just gonna charge and bash into the mobs just by the fact don't bother the buildings at all as that is just some big distraction they were trying to put in while you're actually playing the game so if you see this one basically the flames of creation cap has increased by five do not use it it's waste of resources and here's the other one which is the defense chest uh the thick skin i think it's good but not needed because if you have this much amount of skill i have <laughs> it's easy so you're gonna take the charging knockback in the future but if you find yourself getting the sword damage get it it's 100 percent worth it okay you will be dealing even more damage while charging and dealing knockback while dealing more damage so at flu uh, i think rhinestone golem is something which is just an optional you should not use it it's just a mistake okay don't use them but if you find yourself facing the mobs which you just need to use as a sacrifice Provide. just use those because those are the best one to go for and if you find small mobs just ride it through them okay you're just gonna spam your sword just go right into them get rid of all of the mobs by yourself and not dependent on the mobs and yeah that's the basic plan the big ones the mini boss kind of ones that's something you should take care of by the mobs the other mobs like the zombies and the skeletons are gonna be the two best ones this is a very important tip if you you're using anything like skeletons just make sure that you keep changing their placement just by the fact mobs like the pigmadillo are the biggest enemies of that mob so yeah it's gonna be pretty rough so when i when you are using the zombies this is something very important i never mentioned uh which is uh with zombies even a few mossy golems could be pretty much helpful just by to keep them alive but i don't think mossy golems are ever going to be useful sorry people but yeah uh so that's something just my opinion over here and to take out the final one i think you could just take out by yourself it may take time but patience is the key to victory so the thick skin we do not need this and if you just want the skin do not take it okay i will be making a complete guide but you just need to you know just sit back relax and watch and just make sure so, okay so here's the utility one i'm i'm getting distracted by the script so uh the speed one is very much useful if you think about it in some situations but i did not take it so charging attack level two is going to be the one i gone for as it's something very important and you should also go for if you are taking these exact thing which i'm taking you should be fine and uh, another thing waves are pretty much easy for me to be honest the mobs only you're gonna use will be the zombies there are going to be around a equal proportion of these mobs. You just ride like the dash through all of these mobs, dealing insane amount of damage and dealing knockback and just one shotting those small piglins, which is insane to take a look at. Despite the fact you could just go in and do what, whatever you want. 
editor prompt there so basically here's something i got to know uh basically the values are mostly the same there will be some bomb piglin spawning in but that's not gonna be a huge difference uh it can be but if you see them you just need to run away from them and wait for them to explode first and then get rid of the mobs or then spawn the mobs anything that like that works depends on the situations of you so the next thing i would say would be the waves waves mobs are pretty much same and the abilities are randomized so if you can't find the ones i am having basically what you need to do over here is you just need to wait till you get that and get something similar to mine so you would need to watch this entire guide till the end so i will be listing some of the good things which you'll be able to get and some of the worst things which you could take in this entire ability section so let's continue these hoglins are gonna be a big problem for your skeletons so if you just want your skeletons to be alive protect them by your life because you are powerful and this is aggressive gameplay no matter what game it is my role is to play the most aggressive role in the game i do not like to sit back and watch the stuff go on i just like to bash in myself into it and feel the intense gameplay <laughs> so okay so speed one is kind of good but i think it's not needed just by the fact it's kind of like uh, meh it's just too much so here's the best one i think life leech level one if you could get level two of it you lucky because that's something very much good just by the fact every piglin defeated you gain more health just by the fact if you're just bashing through these mobs there's a huge chance that you won't even lose the health just by the fact you regenning at a huge rate just think about it so pigmentillos that's gonna be a huge problem which you will face so don't use skeletons against them and if you are using skeletons against them just make sure that you're just keeping your distance from them and change the placement of skeletons every few seconds when it rolls so max health increased slightly now who needs health i don't at least so i'm not gonna go for that one and here if we take a look at this one i think it's pretty good it's very solid do more knockback and damage that's something i really love so i'm gonna go for the level three of it and you should too if you can go for level three of that and life leeching level two it's just the best thing i could think of but it's not helpful in the final two boss fights i would say the final two waves i said boss fights but it's waves okay so Keeping your skeletons alive is the biggest thing at the wave 6 where there are only pigmentillos. It's very annoying to face them to be honest. But uh, yeah, if you just keep changing your skeletons placement again and again and make sure that the pigmentillos are not attacking your skeletons, I think there's a huge part where you could just take out these old mobs with a lot more simplicity instead of me i that was just my first try the gameplay you're watching right now is just my first try i do not have much experience on it but here's that's something which worked out really well for me so that's the only reason i'm showing you this thing so playing defensive is something i do not like to be honest so yeah mighty mob level one is also great if you could put up a level two on this one it's a lot more better than the life leech one just by the fact the mob are gonna deal more damage and if they can do more damage it basically means one thing you can take out mobs a lot more faster so that's exactly what we need we don't not need more tankiness or anything else we just need the damage <laughs> so you're just gonna make your mob there and you're just gonna roll through them just get yourself a right movement and roll through all of these mobs as you do not need to worry about your health at all. If you th think you're getting low on health, you won't because you have life leech. Because just by this thing, you can just roll through all of these mobs, taking the mobs out, making it more simple and more focusable for your mobs to actually focus on the big guy while you're taking out the small puny mobs which is gonna be so much great and if this builder thing just creates this kind of big buildings which are gonna be very annoying ignore them yes that's the guide yes p 
people that's the thing uh, ignore and yes that's the only thing if they are annoying your skeletons get them to another place and then take out the final mob and all of the buildings will be destroyed and this might thing this might seems to be a lot to take in but you just need to try it okay you could just do the but this by yourself it's just a pure brute force aggressive build i would say which you have to use over here i mean defense who wants that i i really do not like defense but it's just something which tempts you for more health to become more powerful but that's not actual power that's something which is going to make you a lot more weak in just 10 waves for 10 waves okay it's different talk when we talk about more than 10 waves but here's the thing super sword level 2 i found it out at wave 7 which is very great if you can find this i think the charging attack level 2 leaf leech level 1 then sword level 2 and the mob attack level 2 i don't know if you could get this it's same or it's randomized i do not know but yes that is something very much interesting to take in just by the fact i just love those two ones when it comes to 10 waves one it's gonna be such a great one to take in so yes uh so at wave 8 a lot of mob spawns but <laughs> who cares i'm just gonna i just bash through all of them and now nothing's even bothering me around i'm not losing any health because i'm regenerating health at the same time which is great so the only thing i need to worry about is to keep my skeleton safe so they can take out the small mobs and damage the big mobs from a huge distance wave 8 seems to be a lot more easier but if your zombies die i think at wave 8 is the part if you're going down then the 100 uh, redstone this is the perfect time when it comes to taking the creepers now i know you might be thinking creepers is that is, is that really what you think uh yes creepers are gonna be very great i didn't run out of lapis at all just by the fact people are saying that lapis is something which you're gonna run out a lot <laughs> i didn't so that's something very special about this build because you're the one taking out most of the mobs okay so combat chest which is just the best thing i love that combat chest to be honest and we have over here the utility chest speed increase uh, meh, it's not needed because i am already at enough speed so charging level four would be great zombies just use them when they're actually at like you know you out of all the mobs just only at that time you're gonna spawn in the mobs or else just take out as many mobs as possible by yourself just make the mobs run behind you around the map and worst thing that could happen to you is uh, all of the mobs are spawned on your top so that's something what happened with me which actually messed up my entire army or i would have done so much more better like it was just something very unlucky i gone through which was i really hated this entire wave just by that fact i had to even focus on getting rid of the spike throw because it was really annoying because it spawned just on top of the place where i had to use these you know uh, zombies and skeleton spawners which was really much annoying so i had to take that one out and just roam around for a bit until i regen health and then i just uh charged attack into all of the mobs take took most of the mobs out it actually wasted a lot of my mobs just by the fact the first starting was very rough just by the fact it just spawned on top of my mobs which literally took out every single one of the mobs i had the creepers are gonna be something very much helpful in taking out these brutes, I guess. Uh, I think skeletons is something very much interesting to use against them. It's just by the fact skeletons are great, to be honest. It's one of the best mobs in the game, in my opinion. But, yeah, I think it's very interesting to take a look at. Uh, you just need to make sure that they attack first, and then you use your skeletons. I and the creepers to bash into that place just by the fact it's gonna stun your mobs if you mess up the timing so combat chest level 5 here's something I really think that you should 
still go for the you know health region could be great but i don't think that's something i personally would take and f flames of creation absolutely no because i do not think at all that that's gonna help you in the gameplay at all so just by that fact i again gone for combat chest level five but I was very much tempted with these two and it was just very much kind of, you know, I want that, but I also want that. It's just so much tempting to take in. But yeah, it, it's very tricky, to be honest, if you take a look at that. But zombies is going to be just something for distraction while the skeletons can do the damage. And well, those two things are damaging you are going to be the main thing in this entire guide it's on you whether you're playing it the right way i'm not telling you to just bash yourself into it and die again and again it's timing okay so the smaller mobs is something which you can take out very easily just by running in and the 10th wave is so annoying just by the fact small mobs can be taken out very easily no doubt about that but the pigmadillo and the magma launcher or the lava launcher are the worst now i hate those things so bad just by the fact it actually takes out all of the skeletons you have in a few seconds which is annoying so here's the thing do not spawn knobs at all just uh, take on the mobs which you already have and keep them alive if you don't have mobs spawn a bit i like grindstone golems and a few skeletons i guess do not waste on zombies just yet just by the fact you will be needed to take out the small mobs by yourself first i know it's gonna take a time but i think this is the better way to do it it might take a pretty long time but and it might be a rescue one, but uh, high risk, high reward. Come on, man. So that's something I really think you just need to take out the small mobs first of all. And then use the skeletons to take out the magma launcher while they are distracted by you. And the zombies to take out the pigmadillo. As those, that's something I really think. And those brutes are very slow actually. So while they catch up to you, you're just going, you need to be just, you know use those chests as a defense for your actual skeletons i think that works out pretty well it's not something which has to work but yes i did run out of the redstone which was pretty much sad to be honest it took a lot of time to take on these mobs as the pigmadillo oh my god those things made me so much rage up at my worst like I was so much raged up because of those things, they were just not dying, whatever I do, creepers, anything, those things just be so much annoying. So it's a pretty good trick, just after they roll, you use creepers on them and take that out, as pigmentillos are gonna be the most aggressive out of these old mobs. So that's something what you should make sure, and of course, not using much mobs and playing aggressive is the way to victory because if you just use a lot of lapis and play aggressive it's not going to work out for you at the final boss fight as that thing and these mobs are just gonna take out your mobs so fast it takes time okay it takes a lot of time just how to run around the map and spawn in the mobs so they can actually do the work for you while well, they have done their main stun mo stun attack, just after that, you're gonna use the creepers on them, which will make them able to deal damage on them. And just like so, 10 waves are cleared. I mean, come on, man. It's something which worked out for me, so I, I, it should work out for you. Let me know in the comments. But if you want to continue, you can continue from here. And if you want to exit, you can just claim the reward from the middle. And just like so, you just did it. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more better guide of this entire Lost Legends as it's just the best one I have played for now. So I'll meet you in the next one. Make sure that subscribe button with notifications on and I'll meet you in the next one and check this video out. See you.